well for uh, starting your mix design you have already understand what is your uh, grade of concrete which is first criteria for starting your mix design so after that you need to know about the type of cement you are going to use in your mix design which type of cement you are going to use in your mix design say for example if you are using ordinary portland cement opc ordinary portland cement then which type of grade you are using obviously 53 grade gives you more strength and 33 grade gives you less strength if you use same amount of cement okay so obviously for uh, using higher grade you have to use less amount of cement and for using lower grade of opc you have to use more amount of cement not only opc if you use suppose ppc ppc mean your uh, portland pozzolana cement okay or pozzolanic portland cement uh, or portland slag cement or sulfate resisting cement this is a different type of cement which have special properties which affect your mix design a lot so obviously before using the uh, before starting the mix design you should be ensure about which type of cement you are going to use in your casting program so based on that you have to design that so grade is clear now the type of cement is also clear which type of cement is i am going to use in my design next is grade of fine aggregate now you may think that in case of nominal mix there is no such things obviously that's why the mix design is so important for achieving higher strength okay so in case of nominal mix there is there was no such questions about grade of fine aggregate there was only about the proportion of fine aggregate whatever grade it is okay so in case of mix design you have to first know what is grade grade means grade of fine aggregate actually tells you how much the sand is finer or coarser okay and in indian code is code it is defined as june so how you decide suppose in your stack in your site you have some stack from which you have to prepare the concrete okay now you take some sample from the stack stack of the sand okay now you based on is sieve designation you prepare the sieves like this first 10 mm next 4.75 uh, 2.36 and so on now you simply sieve it as per your standard sieving method simply sieve it and you calculate the percentage of passing percentage of passing means suppose in your 3.636 mm tray uh, there remain only say it is uh, something like that say 5 5 kg okay you have taken say total 10 kgs total 10 kg sand you have taken in this tray there is remain 5 kg in this tray there is no such sand in this tray there is also no such uh, no such uh, sand so up to 2.36 your cumulative retaining is how much 5 plus 0 plus 0 so total is your 5 okay so how much passing you have taken total 10 kgs so pass passing sand is 10 minus 5 so you get got 5 kg has passed so in percentage how much 5 divided by your 10 that means total sand you have taken into 100 so like that for each sieve you calculate this percentage passing okay so after calculating you may get get data like this say say you have got this type for this type everything has passed that's why 100 percent 4.75 say uh, in case in this case also everything has passed that's why 100 percent and for this case something has written as we have calculated in your case also you may have got some data or may not it's depend on your send okay so say it is 75 percent again say this is 60 percent say this is 40 percent okay and say this is uh, 20 percent and it is say zero there is no such particular so you have to check within which grading zone your data is falling suppose you have got 
this type of data okay so in that case the grading of your sand is zone 2 or your sand belongs to zone 2 there are a total four zone for sand classification in ice code first one is zone 1 second one is zone 2 third one 3 and 4 like that so from uh, if you simply say you are a site engineer and you are uh, asking in your laboratory man so that uh, which type of sand is there in the stack and you simply uh, your laboratory man say uh, sir this is belongs to zone 4 so what should be your actual reaction your reaction should be like uh, uh, just immediately get lost and uh, clear all the stack why what he has said Yes, said sir it belongs to zone 4 zone 4 type of sand is not at all good for your concrete why zone 4 indicate you can see from the table 10 mm 100 percent passing this is 100 percent this is 100 percent everything is 100 percent so you are getting like dust very fine particle 300 micron maximum particle maximum particle belongs to this size so it's type a uh, dust type material it not at all good for your concrete so that's why never use this type of sand okay in case of your nominal mixes it doesn't matter whatever sand you can use there is no such mention though uh, we use coarse aggregate we when see that uh, this is dust type sand we ignore that or reject that material but in nominal mix there is no such mention or you cannot uh, rationalize that okay that's why mixed design is based on your rational method based on scientific method okay so for zone 4 is a danger zone never go for that always try to stick within these two zone and if they doesn't permit only then go for zone 3 so this is the course most course or coarsest okay okay and this one is next to this coarseness and this is the finest so never go for zone 4 that's why it is so much important first before starting your mixed design you should be ensure about your grading of fine aggregate so how this grading of fine aggregate actually affect your uh, mixed design we'll, dis we'll discuss in the next videos